Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this Celtic knot using Affinity Designer. In this for this tutorial, sorry, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.7.3. Perfect. Before we start, we need to go uh, to the top and uh, to our file and click in new. I'm going to use 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi without uh, with background. Uh, you can use any um, any size that you want, and I'm leaving all the same uh, as uh, all the rest. Uh, sorry, are the same. And I'm going to click OK, and we have the our new file. Before we continue, just to make sure that we have exactly more or less the same settings, go to View, make sure that you have Show Guides, Show Rulers, Show Context Toolbar, and Show Toolbar Select. Good without any further ado let's get started okay first of all i'm going to start with this i'm going here to my tool panel and i'm going to select the donut i'm going to create a clicking command and shift to create a perfectly um, proportional um, figure i'm going to click and drag then i'm coming here to my transform and i'm going to give it a more or less 436 pixels this one like that so now when that we click that uh, exactly the same perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create uh, something like this a semicircle basically perfect i'm going to give it the um, whole radius i'm going to give it 85. good now with that done i'm going to click uh, i'm going to hit alt on the keyboard click and drag and create three copies of the same thing I'm going to make sure that they are all at the same level, so I'm going to align them uh, to the bottom there. Now I see here there is something that is not quite right, so I'm going to delete that one, delete that one, uh, give this one again. Every now and then I make uh, a mistake. Okay, I'm human, so anyway, uh, seems like anyway. <laughs> sorry uh, i'm going to do exactly the same thing i'm going to put them like this and then i'm going to drag them uh, click and drag and i'm going to make sure that they are all on the same plane now what we are going to do we are going to, we are going to zoom in but first we come in here to our contextual toolbar and we are going to click enable transform origin so now what we are going to do is i'm going to click on that one and i'm going to drag it until basically they snap in there and i'm going to do the same with the other one i'm going to move it there and i'm going to snap it there perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this one there and i'm going to take the center and snap it at in between those two i'm going to zoom in to make sure that is perfectly aligned there when you actually hit the center you will see that those lines it becomes yellow to indicate that you are actually doing it right there so let me zoom out and i'm going to do the same for this one okay but with me we are going somewhere with this uh, just to make sure that it's perfectly uh, aligned good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this one and i'm going to rotate it minus 120 degrees and i'm going to take this one and i'm going to rotate it 120 degrees okay so now basically we have our uh, knot is taking shape now i'm going to take one and i'm going to give it a color it doesn't matter for now because it's just only for us to be able to identify which one is what so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some very bright kind of colors so I can see which one is what and which position for because what is coming now uh, is uh, crucial to get this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything Command J on my keyboard and I'm going to group it, move it to the bottom and I'm going to actually um, make it invisible so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click and drag and select everything i'm going to convert it to curves first and then come here to the top on my geometry bar and i'm going to click add so now we have one 
um, one figure or one shape for everything okay now what we need to do is we need to start putting um, as you can see in here we need to start putting the, um, a gap in between uh, so we simulate that is going underneath okay and how is this one is done is three parts so it's this one this one and this one together this one this one and this one together and this one and this one together you'll see now um, it's going to make more sense now <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these both and i'm going to align them okay so what happened is they need to be perfectly uh, aligned okay perfect i'm going to click on my group and i'm going to hit command j because i think we are going to need it just in case we need it in the future now i'm going to click on that group there and i'm going to actually shift command j to ungroup and i'm going to take this one and i'm going to move it down somewhere there i'm going to actually deselect and i'm going to keep only the red one okay so we are going to work with that one so basically this one needs to cut this one needs to be cut in there okay bear with me uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this one somewhere there and then i'm going to move this one somewhere there okay up to there no problem now we come here to stroke we click on the stroke and i'm going to give it i think 10 will be fine Ooh, 10 is too much i think uh, six yeah six will be fine now the important thing here is to choose the cap um basically our square uh miter join and align outside perfect now that we have that we come here to our line um, to our toolbar at the top we go to layer and we go to expand stroke good with that one selected we select as well our shape we come here to geometry and we click um uh, the minus so we subtract now this one that we have at the top because what happened is now we have all those uh, that opening there and that opening there so this one the one the red one that i was using i'm going to move it to the top come here i'm going to actually move it so actually overlaps i'm going to click on my on my nut that i got there and you click on the add at the top so now everything becomes one okay from now on i'm going to speed it up because it's exactly the same time after time is you need to do it three times uh, for this one the other group that we have here at the at the end we'll see for the lay for later for the circle that goes in the in the middle so let me speed it up and i'll see you just now perfect then now that we are back we need to put the circle uh, in the middle for that again i'm going to choose a donut and i'm going to do something like this let me see let's get this one uh, black and um, this one basically get rid of that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do something very thin something like that i think it will be fine and then i'm going to use they will be fine perfect now what we need to do is on the <laughs> on this circle let me make it a little bit uh, thinner and maybe a little bit smaller and bring it down they will be fine they were there is perfect okay now we need to put those cuts similar cuts on the circle now the thing is we need uh, on this side we start with this side on the top and this one at the back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this group first like this then shift command j to ungroup and this one that is green i'm going to change the color for uh let's make it yellow so we can identify which one is what perfect so i'm going to move this one there 
so this one is going to cut actually this portion so it's up down so should be the yellow one first let me let me move it there the yellow one is at the top perfect uh, no that one should go at the bottom and the yellow one at the top perfect there we are there so now go back there and we do this uh, so we do something very very similar to what we did with um, with the other part okay so again I'm going to speed it up so you don't need to sit and see me going through exactly the same thing over and over again okay see you just now So basically we did it like that now I'm going to select all these ones and I'm going to hit the add so it becomes one and then click and drag to select everything and I'm going to group it now hitting command I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so let's give some color and we are almost finished like always I do I change my background I put something like that let me send it to the bottom there we go and then the color that I'm going to do use is something uh, something like like what what can what can I use something like that yeah I think it's something like that will be fine uh, this one is a little bit anyway I'm going to use something like that. I'm going to select and come in here to my layer uh, tab and I'm going to hit that lock. So now I can't move it and I'm going to choose this one. Sorry, I'm going to ungroup it there. So first this one, I'm going to change the color and I'm going to choose something like that. And maybe a stroke of two pixels, something like that. But I'm going to change the color to white. I think it day looks a little bit much better and I'm going to give it a little bit stroke on this one so I can make it a little bit thicker but I'm going to choose black so I'm I'm making it a little bit thick, thicker there uh, let me see this one uh, internal and that one like this uh, like that is fine perfect so this uh, we finish with this that is our Celtic knot um, that's it for this video i hope you like it if you did please remember to subscribe to give the thumbs up to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and please uh, leave any comment in the section down below anyway like always thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video